championship wrestling. I know it, it, it's an unusual situation. I, I understand uh, completely your request of Eddie to, uh, to have the opportunity to come out here. And, and I would like to ask the studio audience, regardless of what you feel about Tommy personally, please uh, show the courtesy to, to listen to a mother as if it were your own mother. And, and um, so, Peggy, uh, we're delighted to have you here. Thank you, Lance. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for having me out and letting me try to get across to the people that I do have a problem. Tommy's not the bad guy that he appears to be. I know that Tommy is in the dressing room and he's probably seeing me and it's quite embarrassing to him i'm sure but you listen hard tommy it's been rough for me i was proud of you i'm still proud of you and these people are too uh i'd like to just give you a little rundown on tommy's career he started out in jerry jarrett's basement and he it was a hard road for tommy and he wanted to be accepted. He wanted to be a star, and I thought he was. Well, one day he came in and he said, Mama, the time has come that I think I've got to leave. He said, uh, "There's, I need to go other territories and make a name for myself. And then when I come back home, the people here will realize I'm a star. So he left. He went to Atlanta, and it was one of the saddest days of my life. I went to Atlanta many times and saw him, and he wrestled in Atlanta. He wrestled in Madison Square Garden. He went to Hawaii. He's been everywhere. Then one day he called me, and he said, Mama, I'm ready to come home. And I was, needless to say, I was proud. I know you were. It was, it was really a boost to me. He came back, and he, the first week he was back, he came to Memphis and wrestled. I didn't come. But he came home, and he wasn't the same Tommy. He sat around. He moped. He was despondent. This went on for two or three days. And finally, one night, I sat down, and I said, Tommy, what's wrong? I said, there's something wrong, and I think we need to talk about this. And he said... Mama, I, I'm not accepted. He said, I, I went away. I thought I made a name for myself. He said, I came back home, and he said, the people didn't like me. He said, I wasn't what they wanted. And I tried to talk to him, and it, it didn't seem to do any good at all. And he said, one way or the other, Mama, they're going to accept me. They're going to know that Tommy Rich is back. And I want all the people to know when he comes out here and he brags about being the tough guy, and he's not that. That's not Tommy. Not at all. And I feel like the only way that Tommy can ever know that he is accepted is by the fans wanting, cheering him, and, and letting him know they're behind him. Uh, that's the only way I know that Tommy will ever be what Tommy used to be. And I think the fans know that we want Tommy back like he was. Okay, Jim. Hey, Russell! Come on. Hey, come on, I'm Jimmy. I'm sick and tired of listening to this big, hey. big, fat slob! Hey, come on, Jimmy. Now, there's no excuse in that. Really? You made a fool of yourself. Listen to me, Grandma! I can't help! I can't help how your son turned out! I can't help it, baby! He probably turned out just like you! Hey, if you can't control your boy, all my people, all my people in the South, they love Hansel Jimmy, and they don't love Tommy Rich, and they don't love you. You have no business being here. Save it for later. Jim. What do you mean, save it for later, brother? She has no business being here. Tommy Rich we has no business being on. here. Ask for nothing, Lance. Come you on, shut up, Daddy, right. and you shut up, so baby. Hey, come on, Tommy, and come on, you guys. Break it up. Get it separated, Sojo. Hey, yeah. Come on, Jim. Okay, there's no excuse in that, man. Stay over! Stay over! Come on, Peggy, you better get back here. Come on, Peggy. Hey, hey. 
Get back out of the way. All right, hey, come on. Now that absolutely. Come on, you guys. Log it off with this stuff. Come on. Hey, come on, Andy. Get somebody out of here. Watch it, Peggy. Come on, come on. Come on, just stand back. Come on, now, just get on out of here. Get him out of here, Bill. Yeah. Just get him on out of here. No excuse. Okay. Yeah. See if you can get Peggy on out of here. We'll get somebody else to get they get Tommy out. I love it to him. Okay. Where the hell was y'all at when I needed y'all, okay, man? Okay, Tommy. Hey, get him back in the back. Now, go, go get the face taken care of. Oh. Hey, come on. Get him out. Come out here. I've worked my brains out for you, man. I've worked myself to death for you. Hey. You're the son of the heavyweight champion who talked to me. Man. You made a fool out of yourself because you let your own fat mother do it, man. No, let me tell you, let me tell Tommy, you Tommy. something, man. Come on. Don't you ever, and I mean don't you ever, Hart, say nothing about my mama again, brother. Tommy. And as far as I'm concerned, okay. Daddy, we're through that. Let's go. Hey, hey. Don't you dare do it, man. You made your choice. You want to be with scum like that, Jack? Will you be with scum? Tommy, go get it cleaned up. Man. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's just take a break here, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Yeah, just never mind. Just... Take a break. 